Hi, welcome to Bougie Bartender. I am Nikki and I'm going to be your instructor today showing you guys how to properly set up your bar. Now we all know that in the bar world speed is king. You have got to get those drinks out in a timely manner but that's another video. Alright, so let's talk about setting up our bar. Um, the first thing you need to do, as you can see I have this mat here. It's just a, a bar mat. Um, you can actually make your drinks on this mat. Um, it will lock in all the spillage if you spill um, anything. So it's always good to have your a bar mat. If you do not have one of these, you can purchase one. I'm quite sure at, um, I think it's liquor.com. I think you can purchase one of these at. And a regular bar mat. And you just place it right here in front of this bar. This is where you will be making your drinks at. Okay, you guys, you're going to need cups. Now, you have your smaller cups here just for your little um, cocktails. Uh, mainly, sex on the beach is... Um, you could do uh, gin and soda, you know, bourbon and coke normally comes in these size glasses. And then you have these cups, which actually you can make margaritas in. Um, I would do yeah, margaritas, tequila sunrises, anything that has a lot of ingredients in it. These are the cups to go with. And then, of course, you have your standard drinking glasses, I mean cups, which are for water, coke. Just say you have a non-drinker in the building, this would usually go for that. Now, I would normally set my cups up in this order, just to have them right here where I can reach them. You also will need your fruit tray. My fruit tray normally sits to the side over here. and. You would also need tongs because you don't want to be putting your hands all in people's fruit. And so you have your tongs to go with that. This is for your garnishes, your fruit, and um, you can also get a bigger one for ice. I also like to keep a couple of shot glasses just for people who want shots. Next you have your caddy. This is your sugar and your lime caddy. For, like I said, for either shots, margaritas, whatever type of drinks that's going to require a sugar rim, you have one of these. And again, you can purchase one of these on any bar, um, any bar website. And I can't get it open. <laughs> I can't get it open, people. Ah, there it is. Okay. So you have your lime juice your sugar and your salt and that will go somewhere on your bar also somewhere that is easy for you to just take your cup put it in your lime juice into your salt and it's right there then you're going to need your shakers I have two shakers that I um, love I have my rose gold this is my personal one that I take to all of my bartending gigs with me because I absolutely just love the rose gold <laughs> I also just love the rose gold. But you guys are going to need shakers to mix your drinks with. Now, my shakers normally would go behind the bar. I normally would just put these behind the bar. Easy access. You're good to go. Muddler. Now, not a lot of you guys probably will be using a muddler, but it's always great to have one. Just in case you're making a mojito, you know, you want to grind your, um, your mint leaves or whatever. This is great for that. Then you have your strainer. Again, you may not use this in your everyday bar life, but these are good essentials to have because you do not want to be caught needing these things and not having them. Then we also have our drainer, and this goes to your shaker. Like so. See that? 
and you just mix your drinks up and you can pour it off in here real nicely. Another set of song, uh, tongs for your garnishing. And then, of course, you have to have your pourers. You should always have these on hand because if you're doing a private event, nine times out of ten, they're not going to have their own pourers. They're just going to bring the bottles of liquor in and you're going to need to have your own pourers. And then there where your, your jigger comes in. I have plenty of jiggers because I normally have somebody work with me when I'm doing events. So just so we're not in each other's way, we're not waiting for each other to get through with something, I usually carry two of everything. And here are my two jiggers that I use. Now this jigger is one and a half ounce. And this is one ounce. Normally, if you're in a bar setting, they only want you to use one ounce. This is at your own discretion if you're behind your own bar. It just depends on the bar you work at and how they pour their liquor. A bar key. A bar key is important because it opens up bottles. <laughs> and you guys need this. Whether you, th whether you think they're going to have beer or whatever, you still need to have a bar key on you at all times. As a bartender, this is something you probably should just keep in your bag. And, of course, you need to have your wine opener. I got stuck at this event one time that was mainly all wine. And I didn't have a wine opener, so you know that did not go over well. Lesson learned there. Okay, so all these things, I have a little caddy. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm going to push it over so you can see it. But I have a little caddy. Now, I don't bring the entire caddy with me, of course, but I have this right here. And I keep this on the side of my bar because this is normally the type of bar that I would bring to an event. If they, if they um, rented the bar, if not, we use a table. Now, having a table is different because having a table at an event, you don't really get privy to having down here. Like down here, I have my ice thing where I can put my ice in. I can put all the bottles of liquor that I need. I can put, you know, I can do all of that. And I don't have to have it sitting all on top of my table. Now, if you, like I said, if you don't have a, a regular bar, you would just set your bar up accordingly and always bring. make sure you have two tables. One in the back to set all your liquor and your mixers and stuff on. And then one that's um, in front that's very functional for you. Also, the next thing that I also have to, um, that I bring with me a lot, whether I use it or not, is a citrus squeezer. You need this. Because sometimes you will get people that will ask you for lemon juice and they don't want the kind that comes like this they want fresh lemon juice yeah <laughs> okay so setting up our bar I am very non-traditional with my bar setup um, just because I'm very non-traditional with my bar setup I don't use a regular caddy because with a caddy you would use it would have for your napkins and for your straws and your stirrers and or maybe your coasters. I personally don't use caddies. Like I said, I normally use a bar like this when I'm doing events, so my napkins go here and they go here they go there for a reason. It's just because I don't want a lot of customers walking up and just grabbing napkins just because and because they will do that and it creates a huge mess and it creates more trash than you bargain for. And then my straws. I like to just keep them over here by my drinks because once I make the drink and I've already got the drink made, I drop the straws in and I hand them over. I don't let my straws sit up front because I don't like a lot of people touching my straws. <laughs> I don't like a lot of touching going on on the board and especially right now with COVID out you don't want people just readily walking up and grabbing things off of your bar. That's what you don't want to happen because, like I said, it's not sanitary. And I'm a stickler about that. 
So this will be your standardized uh, bar setup. Now, if, now this is also something I keep behind my bar also. And I will keep it like down right here on the shelf. And if I need to open it, I'll just have it open and I can go ahead and operate from here. But what you're going to need for your mixers are these. These are great. You can mix, um, you can do your cranberry juice, your orange juice, your pineapple juice, um, whatever type of juice that you need to have. Or either you can do your, you know, you can do your sprites in it too. And this will go, normally it goes down here in your caddy, but if you have a table, you would just set those to the side because these are what people would normally be using. So you just set those to the side. And then you have everything, you have all of your drink, um, your mixer sitting to the side for you. And then your bar is properly set up. Now guys, you want to keep room. You do not want to overload your bar with a lot of stuff. Because you don't want people leaving all kind of drinks up that can be spilled everywhere. So right now, this is the way I set my bar up. It's efficient. I can reach everything, I know where everything is, I'm good to go. And like I said, making drinks is all about speed. And not only is it all about speed, making drinks, you have to be efficient in making drinks. You know, yeah, you can be really fast at it, but if it tastes like crap, then you pretty much just wasted your time. Because nobody's going to want to drink it. So, but this makes for a functional bar area. Okay? For instance, you got your drink. You got your ice, you got your ice in here, you got your mixer, your liquor, pour, pour. You got your straw, and there you go. Easy peasy, simple, right? So you don't have people grabbing stuff up off your bar that you don't want them touching, and you're good to go. So this is the easiest way to set your bar up. It's more efficient. Now, I'm right-handed. So, of course, I'm going to have all of my bar tubes here. I'm left-handed. I mean, I'm not left-handed, but I can, I can work well with my left hand. So it's all about being able to function in your space. You don't need to have a lot of stuff taken over your bar where you can't, make, you can't put out drinks. This area is to put out drinks. Nothing more. You don't need your um, shaker up here. You don't need your jigger up here. You don't need any of that up here. You need room to make your drinks. That way you can bang those drinks out. Bang them out. Bang them out. And you're good. And you have a stabilized place to make your drinks. A functioning bar. Yeah. And there you have it. How to properly set up your bar to get um, efficient work done.